In this part of the demo we continue building bodies. There is in fact not too much new to learn. The real challenge is to keep track of the many points, names of the bodies and so on. Thus, if you are in a kind of hurry you may skip parts of it. Create a new body with label, rear shock lower left. Enter mass and inertia as shown. Select rear shock spring upper left point as center of mass origin point. Create a new graphics with label as rear shock lower left graphic 1. Select rear shock lower left as parent body. Select rear wheel left point as origin point, and rear shock spring lower left point as direction point. Create a new body with label as rear shock upper left. Enter mass and inertia properties as shown. Select rear shock upper left point as origin point. Create graphics with label as rear shock upper left graphic 1. Select rear shock upper left as parent body. Select rear shock spring upper left point as origin point, and rear shock upper left point as direction point. Go to Properties and enter a radius of 10. Create a new body with label as rear shock lower right. Enter Mass and Inertia Properties as shown. Select rear shock spring upper right point as origin point. Create graphics with label as rear shock lower right graphic 1. Select rear shock lower right as parent body. Select rear wheel right point as origin point, and rear shock spring lower right point as direction point. Create a body with label as rear shock upper right. Enter mass and inertia properties as shown. Select rear shock upper right point as center of mass origin point. Create graphics with label as rear shock upper right graphic 1.
Select rear shock upper right as parent body. Select rear shock spring upper right point as origin point, and rear shock upper right as direction point. Review the model so far. In the next video we will add joints to the model.